Sometimes when you're in a hard place, you think you've been buried, but in reality, you've just been planted. You've been let down, you face rejection, and you failed. Fortunately, when you hit that point, the only place to go is up. I want you to imagine that your life is a tree. The failure that you've just faced is actually a seed, and it's a seed that's going to grow your potential. The light you need is your mindset, and the water is your strength. Because the rejection you feel right now is sprouting your success. And in order for you to grow, you need to feel the pain. The pain and the struggle is more than just some dark place you go to. It's actually a starting place. A place to begin trying, and a place you start to improve. And that improvement can be the start of the making of your success. Look at me, you're not five feet under. You're five feet higher than any position you've ever been in. Man, stop bringing yourself down. Start learning that you are more than just your mistakes. In fact, they make you, they make you grow, and they make you branch out into a stronger and more courageous person. Give yourself the space to grow. Give yourself the space to grow into a better and a more successful person. Cause see, your potential is sprouting. You got a better foundation now because those roots are dug deep into the ground. And if something breaks you down, know that you can grow further past the point you were at before. Because this tree can only grow taller, bigger, and stronger. Because you are stronger now. So you got to know that this isn't a setback. This is just another ingredient that you need for the success that's coming your way. Great people don't have anything magic. They worked relentlessly for years and years. They decided that they were going to be great. They decided that they didn't want to sit back and hide. They decided that they wanted to shine. They decided that their name would be in lights and people would admire what they do. If not for you, decide to be great for the world. We already have enough problems on this planet. Be different. Be a person who makes a difference. Be a person who makes a change for good. Be a person who has an impact on the world. Stop denying the world of your greatness. You need to see every single day as a bank account. Nobody is poor. Nobody is rich. Everyone has 24 hours each. And how you spend your balance each day will decide who you become. Spend your time wisely. Do not waste it on things out of your control. If the weather is bad, do not waste time feeling down about it. If it is out of your control, move past it. Look for the things that you can control. Losing 24 hours because of a bad 10 minutes is like throwing $10,000 away because you dropped a few pennies. In every new environment, you consciously and unconsciously structure yourself and restructure your sense of self to adapt into your environment. And as you adapt to your environment, you shape your destiny. Your destiny is in your hands as you would shape it and create it. You are the master of your destiny and you have the ability to manifest your dreams. As you find your stride, employ your strengths, let go of weaknesses or cultivate them into strengths. Embrace your spirit and listen to your intuition as you adapt. As you grow, so will your strength. Become undefeated, keep your resolve and silence the critic within. Forget the other critics because they will not respect you at the bottom. They'll ignore you in the middle and they will be resentful at the top. As you rise without negativity and doubt, you become stronger, wiser, and more determined. Your environment will still be new, and you will still consciously and unconsciously structure yourself and restructure your sense of self. You will always be learning, adapting, and patient in the pursuit. Your love will be unbound and unpretentious, and your greatest achievement precedes the last. Congratulations, you're a winner. You're the creator of your own destiny. 
Do you believe in fate, destiny, predestined success? Have you ever imagined this fate being negative? No, because fate always will take you in the right direction. Not only can fate change you into a better person, you can control it. You create your own future, you just don't know that you are at this very moment. Take control now. Make purposeful decisions. Decisions with meaningful intentions. Take control of your destiny. Make your life worth the time you put in. Your life is worth more than the pain you feel now. The pain you feel working to improve is the power you feel to make it in the future. Remember who's in control. You. Direct your life in the right path. Take your destiny, look at it face to face. Put your hand out and grasp it. Hold it in your fist. Create it. Paint a picture of your future. A picture where you can see yourself. The future where you can improve. Improve yourself as a person. Improve yourself for your future. Sculpt your life for the better. Make sure you're always in control. Because you have the potential. The potential to make it past your fears. Don't look behind your shoulder. Try not to look on the horizon. Look up now and be present in your life. Own your life. Don't let anyone else live it for you. You have this. You have this under control. There are only two options. Make progress or make excuses. Close your eyes. Imagine you, feet firmly in the ground, hands placed down past your waist, head up high, breathing steadily. You're looking out, and you see two tracks. One track has green grass, fresh and soft. The sun hits it perfectly. The path is drawn out. It's the easiest route to take. The other path is different. You can only see as far as five meters. It looks dark, dangerous. You would have to make it on your own. There's no path and no map. Next to this path is a sign. The sign reads, in one mile, lush green open field. Which path do you want to take? Did you want the comfortable option? The route everybody else takes? Do you really want to be everybody else? It's overrated. The comfortable option has no promise of success. What's on the other side of the path? What if that path never ends and follows you through life? Because in order for you to live a life full of success, you will have to take risks. Imagine yourself physically walking towards the sign. Imagine yourself walking down this path. Feel the unknown on your feet, the thorns brisk past your skin, the darkness closing in. Imagine yourself just about to give up. Imagine yourself almost looking back. No, you look forward, you sprint. What do you see? You see the field. You see the light escape through. You can see the trees and the path doesn't seem as dangerous. This is because you're not focusing on that. You're focusing on you, the field, and the opportunity it brings you. You made it there because you didn't look back. Now open your eyes. You need to take the right path.